Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. How are you, teacher? Fine, thank you. You know, here in Panama, we had less rain than usual. <laughs> are you in Panama right now? Yes, I oh. live here in Panama, but oh. my heart is in El Salvador. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's good. I am Salvadorian. Ah, uh, that's good. That, that's better. <laughs> that's better. Nice soy, to... sal, soy salvadoreña de hueso colorado, pero, yes. no que sea, pero, que no, pero no soy del FMLN. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, con que como pupusas suficiente. <laughs> sí, no, como, como pupusas y sin tenedor. <laughs> Sí, yo acabo... Es más, no solo las como, también las hago y las vendo. Ay, qué bueno, qué excelente. With, with, with that, I, I take my study here at, at the university because I, I got, um, well, you will see here. I I am I got a master's degree here. What especially are you taking? Uh, well, I I am an English teacher, That's and good. I have a, also an English degree. Oh, that's but, good. Uh, here in Panama, I got uh, in higher education the my my master's degree was in higher education that's beautiful that's nice that's beautiful that's beautiful uh, you speak french too that's good je parle un peu français aussi un petit un peu un peu okay i i just learning german by now wow you you have to speak very strong. <laughs> yes, that's it. <laughs> what I love from French is that it's sweet. They, they can they can be telling you bad things in French, but it's so sweet that you don't feel hard. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. Okay, then I, I got my master's on higher education. Um I I had other other uh, specialties and I'm also a tutor in virtual uh, things. I also made uh, Moodle rooms. Okay. Here I help a lot of, of my teachers to make the Moodle rooms for them because they are good. Uh, working as presential teachers, but they cannot work virtually. So I, I help them here to work virtually. Well, we will be uh, watching a video right now. Uh, let me see how many people and what time is it? Almost on. Okay. We are on time let, right now. Let me let me know if you can listen to the video. Okay. I I will play it right now, and you let me know if you can listen it. Okay. Yes. El insafor. Okay. All of you. No problem. No problem. No, it's okay. Venga. No. Ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. 
Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del Sistema de Formación Profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo, contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos. Tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online. Cursos online, con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insaport ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insaport Trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Con el objetivo de formar en igualdad el Instituto Salvadoreño de Formación Profesional INSAFOR, presentó en el año 2017 la Guía para la Prevención y Erradicación de la Discriminación contra las Mujeres en los Centros de Formación Fijos, donde se desarrollan programas permanentes de formación profesional del INSAFOR, cuya elaboración contó con el apoyo de la Organización Internacional del Trabajo, OIT, y su objetivo a largo plazo es contribuir a mejorar las condiciones y oportunidades de acceso y permanencia de las mujeres en los procesos de formación profesional sin discriminación de ningún tipo. La guía pretende poner a disposición de INSAFOR y de sus centros colaboradores un instrumento que les permita identificar conocer, prevenir, atender y erradicar progresivamente cualquier discriminación por razones de género contra las mujeres. Posteriormente, el INSAFOR desarrolló un plan piloto de implementación de la guía en tres centros de formación fijos y es así como surgen cuatro instrumentos fundamentales para la aplicabilidad de la guía, siendo estos manual de convivencia, Protocolo de atención en casos de bullying y acoso sexual. Lineamientos para la comunicación de los programas de formación con lenguaje inclusivo no sexista. Y la guía metodológica para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres. Dichos documentos fueron elaborados con el enfoque de derechos humanos y de género, estableciendo medidas que garanticen relaciones de respeto, igualdad y equidad entre todas las personas que forman parte y conviven en los centros de formación profesional. De esta forma, el INSAFOR asume la igualdad de género como un principio transversal de trabajo, entregando a los centros de formación estas cuatro herramientas que complementan la guía para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres, a fin de que sean puestas en práctica en beneficio de las usuarias de la formación profesional. INSAFOR, formando en igualdad. Ok. ¿Any comments? ¿Algún comentario sobre el video? Bastante interesante todo lo que ofrece el Insafor, sinceramente. Sí, eso. Y, y es bueno que ustedes lo estén aprovechando, ¿verdad? Sí, es una gran bendición contar con esta, con esta oportunidad. Sí, y, y, estrella de la mañana. Es su... a, mí, a mí me están dando también la oportunidad de poder seguir interactuando con mi gente, ¿verdad? Con mi país, ¿verdad? Este... Yo aquí tengo que como cuatro o cinco años de estar viviendo y hasta este año empecé a trabajar ya hace poco en algo con Panamá. Sin embargo, no es 
no es directamente, o sea, estoy trabajando con niños de Panamá, pero no estoy trabajando directamente para Panamá, sino que para una organización en España. Bueno, Qué excelente. Pero, ¿Y Mientras yo estuve trabajando más que todo con Insaport, eh, así en línea, como estos cursos. Y entonces le doy gracias por eso, la oportunidad, porque eh, a mí me fascina, a mí me fascina este, eh, dar clases. Y yo me sentía súper mal de que no estaba trabajando. ¿verdad? A mí me gusta trabajar. Y entonces soy, soy loca, trabajo. Bueno, es más, ahorita eh, eh, con ese grupo que les digo que estoy trabajando con, ustedes son un oasis por, por un montón de motivos. Para empezar, porque es gente de mi país y para seguir, este, porque son como 30, algo así. ¿Verdad? Y con los que estoy trabajando ahorita son, permítame, yo creo que me equivoqué. Sí, ya estaba aquí abierta. Eh, son 300 estudiantes, niños, que no saben utilizar la tecnología. Entonces me está tocando casi que, bueno, hasta les hablo videollamadas por WhatsApp para enseñarles dónde se tienen que meter, a hacer qué. Y hay unos pobres que no tienen acceso a computadora, sino que a puro celular. Entonces, les digo yo a los de Odilo, allá en El Salvador deberían de estar dando clases que ya todos los niños de escuelas públicas tienen computadora. <risa> ¿Verdad? Sinceramente sí. es una bendición, es una bendición. Yo sé que hay un montón de gente que no está de acuerdo con el gobierno, etcétera, pero yo siento que se está trabajando para el pueblo. ¿Verdad? Para lo que antes no teníamos nada. Así es, 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 así es. ¿Verdad? No, y lo lindo de la tecnología, que imagínense usted está allá, es como que estuviéramos acá. Sí. La universidad no ha parado de, de estar enseñando. Exacto. Hoy con, con estas enfermedades que han venido, pues la tecnología no es la que nos ha sacado adelante. Exacto. Y no, entonces, sí. y aquí, aquí tenían el gran problema de que aquí casi, casi, casi nadie estaba trabajando virtual. Yo por lo menos allá en El Salvador, yo ya tenía, eh, yo ya tengo como 14, 15 años de estar trabajando virtual, porque empecé con Edúcame. Ellos empezaron con, con, un, con un proyecto que era Edúcame con ITCA que era con tutores virtuales, y yo fui de la primera tanda de tutores virtuales. Mira, entonces, desde entonces. Ok. Now, eh, have you worked with the platform? ¿Han trabajado con su plataforma? Yes. Ok, nice. Yes. How are you in the platform? ¿Dónde va en la plataforma? Um, first part. The first part, the, the first, yeah. the first section. We yes. have, we have five sections. And for that five sections, we are going to be studying the first week, the first two sections. Okay. And then the next week, we are going to cover a uh, section three and the middle term exam. Okay, then on the third week, we are going to cover uh, the section four. And the fourth week, we are going to cover uh, section five and the final test. We are going to check all the exercise here. O sea, vamos a, a, a revisar todos los ejercicios para que todos estén bien. Y la, la ventaja es que si usted se equivocó, lo puede corregir. ¿Por qué digo ventaja? Porque siempre he dicho que yo no le encuentro sentido a ponerle, qué sé yo, una mala nota a un estudiante y que así se quede y, y, y así terminó. No, o sea, vengo y, y hablo con el estudiante, saliste mal, 
arréglalo y te cambio la nota. Yo siempre trabajé así, incluso en la universidad. Siempre trabajé así. ¿Era más trabajo para mí? Sí. Pero era más beneficioso porque mi idea era que los estudiantes aprendieran, no que los estudiantes salieran aplazados. ¿Verdad? Y si el estudiante hace el esfuerzo de corregir su error, ¿por qué no al cambiarle la nota? ¿Verdad? De nada me servía que agarraran las cosas y las tiraran a la basura y ni vieran en qué se equivocaron. O sea, yo siempre he sido de ese, de ese estilo. Now, education is not the learning of facts, but the training of the mind to think. ¿Qué piensan de eso? Bueno, está este pensamiento de, de, de este gran científico es dice la educación no, no es me estoy cubriendo yo esta no puedo leer todo voy a ver yo creo que no es el aprender los hechos o los, facts, o los hechos de la vida facts of life Uh -huh. But the training of the mind to think. Pero el ejercicio. Entrenar, el, 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 entrenar el, el, a la mente. A la mente para pensar. Sí. Sí, es, y eso, eso es importante porque. Porque la mente. Bueno, si hay. Hay. Eh, eh, investigadores que dicen que utilizamos solo un pequeño porcentaje de la capacidad de la mente. Exacto. Uh -huh. Y yo lo he comprobado. ¿Verdad? Yo lo tengo, Entonces, yo lo tengo bien comprobado. A, a mí, a mí, por cosas de la vida, when I was, when I was 14 years old, eh, I lose half of my brain. Okay, then I was, uh, I was in a vegetative state. Estuve en un estado vegetativo. The doctor said uh, that my mother has to quit her work because she has to take care of me, uh, move, move me because I could get uh, some uh, bruises in my, in, my, in my body after being lying all the time and that I, I won't do anything for myself. But I am here, I am completely fine. But I remember that I listened to all what they say. Yo escuchaba todo lo que ellos decían. And I say to myself, I don't want to be a burden a load for my mother. Yo no quería ser una carga. And if I have to, to live that, this way, I don't want to live this way. If I will live here, I will be by myself. And if not, I'm ready to go. Please take me with you. I, to God. And then I started to reconnect myself. Comencé a reconectarme. Entonces, New wiring, <laughs> new wiring in my in my brain, and now I am fine. I uh, uh, and I had to study and work at the same time because my father only gave me up to high school, and then he died. So I had to work and study at the same time in order to be what I am to today. Okay. And, I'm here. and and I always continue studying and I always continue working. I love to work and to study. And that's what I say to my children. You are you have everything right. But it depends on you if you want to success or not. Depende de cada uno de nosotros si queremos. Eh, avanzar en la vida 
O sea, eh, muchas veces somos nosotros mismos los que nos ponemos las stops. You don't need, you don't need a blockage in your way. You need to jump over them. Okay. Now, let's see. Uh, with the name of the of this section, what do you think that we are going to talk about? That's what friends are for. Para eso son los amigos. What do you think this section will be about? Permítanme que vi un errorcito ahí. Yo soy mi propia secretaria, pero algunas veces se me pasan. <ríe> ok, y no me gustan los errores. Ok. Yes. ¿De qué creen que se va a tratar? That's what uh, friends are for. Uh, about this, this first class or, or you mean? Uh, yes, the, it's, it's all the section. The, all the section, the name of all the section is that's what friends are for. Para eso son los amigos. Yes. I think that we need to know to each other with all our group in a way that we can be friends in the future time because yes. we are going to be studying for a long period of time uh, yes. in, this plant, in this platform. I don't know how to say platform. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that I think that is um, necessary to know each other and to help when somebody need that we help or, or for example if somebody is advanced and in the in the in, in his studies he can help to others uh, yes. that's it that, uh, what, what i think great thank you now uh, somebody to help me uh, with the lesson objective please Yes, Did by the end of the lecture, participants will be able to use relative pronouns, who and that, as subjects. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Now, relative pronouns as subjects. You can unmute yourself when you want to talk. I, I like everybody to participate. Please try to participate as much as you can. Remember that you almost had no, no chance to talk in English all the time in the day. So here you have to, to participate in order to practice more. And now, um, anybody talk, uh, who is talking? Yes, my name is Marco. Okay, Marco, could you read? Uh, no, I got, a, I, got a, I got a problem. I don't know if everyone is, is having the same problem. In the, in the screen, there are uh, uh, a frame, a great frame that is not allowed to read or to see all the screen. Yeah, exactly. This, this, this great uh, frame is moving. You can see it now? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Oh, it's you can a see it now? No, it's a piercing again. All right now it's okay. Thank you okay. very much. You're welcome. Now, uh, relative pronouns as subject. Uh, somebody to read, please. The first three sentences here. Me teacher. Okay. Uh, I like guys, they aren't too serious. Okay. Now, I one. like guys, they have a good sense of humor. Okay. If you notice here, I like guys, there's a period here 
And then this is another sentence. We are going to connect both sentences using uh, relative pronouns, okay? And the relative pronouns that we are going to use is who or that. So you may use who or that. For example, I like guys who aren't too serious. I like guys that aren't too serious. But in this case, who and that are working as subjects, okay? Now, repeat after me. I like guys. I like guys. I like guys. Who aren't too serious. Who aren't, who aren't too serious. serious. I like guys that aren't too serious. I like guys who aren't too serious. I like guys who have a good sense of humor. I like I like guys that have a I like guys that have humor. Okay, thank you. Now let's see the other one. Now here we have a relative pronouns as subjects. Okay. Um, we are going to listen to our teacher. Hello, everyone. In this class, you learn how to describe the kind of people you like to hang around with. For example, I like friends who aren't too serious. You'll learn how to use the relative pronouns who or that. Now let me get started by presenting the structure. We'll do a few examples, and at the end of the class, I would like for you to practice by making your own examples. Okay. Let me talk about the first example that you see here. Those examples, we already uh, see them. And I just place the video here because you have to listen to different pronunciations and to different intonations in order to practice more listening, okay? And this this PPT, I will send it to you uh, on WhatsApp, okay? okay. But the, the most important thing is I wanna do, okay. If you have seen in the platform, they have placed two videos and they are exactly the same. So I search and I found the other that has to be there. And I placed it here too, okay? By the end of this lecture, participants will be able to use relative pronouns, who and that as objects. Los acabamos de ver as subjects. Now we are going to see them as objects. Okay? Relative pronouns as objects. Someone to help me with this too, please? I'd prefer someone. Yes? I prefer, I prefer someone. I can talk to him easily. Uh-huh. Next. I prefer someone I have fun with him. Okay, now, uh, somebody to read this one? Me? I prefer someone, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I prefer someone who I can talk to easily. Excellent, now you do the other one, mister. I prefer someone that I can help to easily. Excellent. Now, this one. Okay. I'd, I'd, I'd prefer someone who that I have fun with. Okay. 
Hide. Hide. I prefer. Someone. That. That. I have fun with. I have fun with. Okay. If you notice, these two sentences sound better than these two sentences. Okay. Because I can talk to him easily. I don't like it. <laughs> but if you say I prefer someone who I can talk to easily, it sounds better. Okay. Now let's see. We have here the video that should be in the second part, but it's not there. Okay. Hello, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to describe the kind of people you like to hang around with. For example, I would prefer friends who I can talk to easily. You'll learn how to use the relative pronouns as objects, and you'll listen to a conversation in which this topic is used. Now, let me get started by presenting the structure. We'll do a few examples, and at the end of this class, I would like for you to practice by making your own examples. In our previous class, we learned how to take two pieces of information and turn those into one piece of information by combining two sentences together. So, for example, we learned how to combine I like guys, they are into serious, to I like guys who are into serious. In essence, what we're going to do is something quite similar. We're going to take two pieces of information. I would prefer someone I can talk to him easily. And our goal is to use the relative pronoun who or that and combine these two pieces of information into one idea. So let me write those two statements on the document here. I mentioned that what we want to do is we want to take these two pieces of information and we want to change them to just one idea. So what I want you to notice is that object in our second clause will change. Basically, it will disappear. And that's because all that we're going to do is we're going to substitute it by using who or that. And so that's what I want you to notice at this point. I would prefer someone. That's one piece of information. So let me go ahead and color that in, let's say, green. All right. And I can talk to him easily. I'm going to go ahead and color that in, let's say, uh, blue. The only reason I'm doing this is so you can see that we have two statements there. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to change that object in our second statement and we're going to exchange it for a relative pronoun, for either who or that. So then our final statement should say something like this. I would prefer someone who I can talk to easily. Or you could say I would prefer someone that I can talk to easily. In our second example, we do something quite similar. We have two pieces of information, and we're going to substitute the pronoun in our second statement, and we're going to replace that with a relative pronoun. So again, let me do what I did in uh, my previous example. I'm going to go ahead and color this. I mentioned I colored that in blue. Um, and then the second statement, I'm going to go ahead and color that in green. The only reason I'm doing this is just to emphasize that I'm, I have two ideas on the top. What I want to do is I want to combine those two ideas, and I'm going to use relative pronouns to do that. Um, and so the only thing that changes is that simply the, the object in our second statement, it just disappears, all right? Um, and um, in between these two, the two statements, I include who or that. Okay. Hello this, everyone. This in this, um, this one you don't have it in the in the platform. That's why I let you listen to it completely because we are going to check the first uh knowledge check. Okay. Now can you see the knowledge check? Yes. Yes, yes. Is it? Can you read well? Yes. Okay. Now, please, somebody to help me. 
Uh, uh, raise your hand. Okay. The problem is that now I cannot see you here. <laughs> I don't know what happened with with um, with Zoom that don't let me see you. Okay. Now, uh, someone to read number one, please. Okay. Uh, I don't Rafael want to. Thank you. I don't want I don't want to have a partner. Okay. My my answer is I have nothing in common with this person. That was the answer you think is the, the right answer. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, with this person, she, yes, this is one, okay? Now, I like to meet people. I like to meet people. People are nice as Number two, raise your hand. As a good leadership quality. People have a good sense of humor, I have not been promoted. Uh, Rafael Antonio. Uh, the answer is, uh, these people have a good sense of humor. I like to meet people. Okay. I prefer a roommate. Let me see one thing. Yes. I prefer a roommate. This person is quiet and, and consider, cons, considered. Considerate. 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 Repeat, please. This person is quiet and considerate. This person is quiet and considerate. You know what is quiet? Yeah. Tranquilo. Don't make noise. Callado. <laughs> Callado. Yes, don't make a lot of noises. Okay. Now, I don't like to be with people. I don't feel comfortable around these people. Okay. I want to discuss my problems with friends. These people are warm and sensitive. Okay. Veo que solo uno habla. ¿Y los demás? Now, I rather have a boss. This person has good leadership qualities. Okay. I prefer to have teachers. These people are organized and intelligent. Okay. Now let's see. Good. You are good. Check. Okay. All of you, if you haven't done this, you you may copy them or take a screenshot, okay, or a picture. Now, um, let me see. Um, Navy, could you read number one with the answer? 
Um, I don't want to have a partner. I have nothing in common with this person. Thank you very much. Now, Jessica Rosales. I like to meet people. These people have a good sense of humor. Sense of humor. Repeat, please. Sense of humor. Sense of humor. Cute humor. Cute. Like human humor. Humor. Cute. Cute. Humor. Humor. Okay. Now, everybody repeat, please. Sense of humor. Sense, Sense of, humor. of humor. Sense of humor. Sense, Sense of, of humor. humor. Okay, thank you. Now, please. Rebecca Estefania, number three. I prefer a roommate. This person is quiet and considerate. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Rodrigo Antonio, could you help us with number four? Rodrigo Antonio, are you there? Por eso les piden las cámaras, miren, porque hay gente que de repente no está ahí. <laughs> Santa Patricia, are you there? Yes. Could you help us with number four, please? Mm, I don't like to be with people. I don't feel comfortable around these people. Okay, thank you very much. Now, everybody repeat. Comfortable. 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 Okay, thank you. If, when we finish, I will ask you if you have uh, any um, questions about vocabulary, okay? Okay. Now, uh, Soraya Araujo, could you help us with number five? I want to discuss my problem with friends. These people are warm and sensitive. Okay, thank you very much. Now, everybody, discuss. 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 Okay, thank you. Now, uh, Zulma Beatriz, could you help us with number six, please? Okay, I I rather have a boss. This person has good leadership qualities. Okay, I rather. I I rather. I rather. I rather have a boss. I rather have a boss. Thank you very much. Now um. Erasmo Perla, could you help us with number seven? I, I prefer uh, to have teacher. These people are organized and intelligent. Okay, thank you very much. Now, everybody, organize it. I prefer teachers. I, I prefer to have teachers. I, 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 I prefer to have teachers. I prefer to have intelligent and intelligent. Okay, and now these are the two pieces of information. Okay, estos son los dos, dos, dos pedazos de información. Entonces, ahora vamos a hacer los matching, ¿verdad? Ya sea con who o con that, ya sea con como object o como subject, ¿ok? Acuérdense que el subject es el que realiza la acción y el object es el que recibe la acción, ¿ok? Now, I don't want to have a partner. 
who I have nothing in common with. Ok. Ahí, ¿cómo lo estoy usando? ¿Como subject o como object? Como object. Como object. Excellent. As an object. Ok. Now, who wants to do number two? Me, teacher. Eh, ok, go ahead. I'd like to meet people who have a good sense of humor. Nice, excellent. Now, number three, who wants to do number three? Raise your hand. Nobody? Yeah, me. Okay. Marco, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, okay, I prefer a roommate that is quiet and considerate. Excellent. Is a subject or object? Uh, subject. Excellent. Now, number four. Who will do it? Nobody? Now, no volunteers, I volunteer you. Uh, Gerson Escalante, could you help us? No? Don't worry, we will work together, okay? Parece que está escribiendo. No. Okay, now, eh, hey, me le cambian esos nombres, oyen, aquí me sale Galaxy A03. <laughs> Galaxy Tab A. <laughs> Please put your names on it, okay? Then I can know who I'm talking with. Bribet, could you help us? Yeah, um, I don't like to be with people who I don't feel comfortable around. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then is subject or object? Object. 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 Okay, yes. thank you. Now, number five. Diego Antonio? Diego Anthony? Anthony, así como con candy, candy. Anthony. Which number? Fue, eh, number five. These people are warm and sensitive. Yes, but uh, we are matching the number five with the answer. Oh, okay. I uh -huh. want to dis discuss my problems uh -huh. with friends. I want to discuss my problems. Discuss. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. These people are warm and sensitive. Yes, but we are going to take away this and, and matching with who or that. I want to discuss my problems with friends who Ooh. are warm and sensitive. Repeat. I want to discuss my problems with friends who or that are warm and sensitive. Repítalo. I want to discuss Discuss my problems with friends who, who are, are warm and sensitive. Warm es que, and sensitive. que eh, lo que les estoy explicando es que este ejercicio aquí son two pieces of information. Y las vamos a unir con lo que acabamos de ver. Con who or con that. ¿Verdad? Eh, lo hacen en sus casas, aunque no se los hayan pedido, lo hacen en un cuaderno o algo, porque 
si solo lo contestamos así, como que no tiene mucho sentido con respecto a lo que estábamos viendo. Pero si los unimos con jugo con dat, entonces ya estamos ejercitando lo que estábamos haciendo. ¿Ok? Now, number six. Hoy sí, Galaxy A03 Core. No sé si es un joven o una joven. Va a ir a revisar qué, qué, qué tipo de teléfono tiene, porque ni eso sabe. <ríe> pónganle a sus teléfonos, si entran con sus teléfonos, pónganle su nombre para que sepamos quién es. Please. Eh, a la, a la, al, por si no saben cómo se hace eso, a la hora que usted entra, Uh, ¿Cómo se llama? Uh, a Zoom. Permítanme, voy a ver si lo puedo encontrar aquí. Sí, a la hora que usted entra a Zoom, lo vamos a hacer aquí. No sé si van a poderlo ver. Eh, ¿Alcanzan a ver? No, teacher, because. Uh, permítame, permítame, permítame. Es que. Para empezar, quiero ver. Uh, compartir. Aquí lo tengo, lo veo yo, pero no se los puedo enseñar. A ver, voy a compartir la pantalla, así se va a poner. ¿Hoy sí? ¿Pueden ver? No, una, no. Una, una pantalla no, no, teacher, como que la pantallita que había puesto, la, la gris pequeña, se ha hecho grande. ¿Y ahora? Igual. Igual, no se mira. Bueno, a la hora que ustedes ingresan a, a, a Zoom, ahí les pone que, que no, con qué nombre quiere ahí empezar. A mí me sale, creo que inglés corporativo. Entonces, ustedes tienen que poner su nombre en vez de lo que dice ahí el nombre del dispositivo que usan. ¿Verdad? Porque si no, no sé quién es. Y ni ustedes saben cuál, 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 qué tipo de teléfono tienen. Así como cuando dicen en, en el cine, ¿verdad? Que el, el, el carro de las placas tales y ni la placa del carro se sabe, así que por gusto. <risa> no. Eh, ¿Estamos viendo ya lo que es falta de, de, del ejercicio? ¿Sí? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok. Mm -hmm. eh, now, number six. ¿Quién me puede ayudar con number six? Me again. Me, teacher. Me. Ok, go ahead, the girl. Ok. I rather have a bus. Uh, who has good leadership? Leadership, leadership, leadership quality. Okay, now uh, it is used as subject or as object? Who? Object. Who is used as subject or as object? <coughs> subject. 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 Excellent. Now uh, the guy, the number seven, el que le cedió su lugar a la señorita. Okay. I prefer a t-shirt who are organized and intelligent. Okay, thank you very much. Now, let's see. We finish the knowledge check. Now, is somebody to read a lesson objective, please? By the end of this class, participant Participant will learn adjectives that describe personal ca characteristics. Characteristics. Excellent. Now, let's see. Personalities. Repeat after me. Easy going. Easy going. Easy going. Easy going. Easy going. Easy going. Egotistical. Egotistical. Inflexible. 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 Modest. 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 
Sociable. Temperamental. Temperamental. Now. Um, I will read the characteristic. You will follow the reading. Yeah. Yo voy a ir leyendo, usted va a ir siguiendo la lectura. Va a haber un momento en que eh, le voy a pedir que lo lean ustedes, pero por eso quiero que vayan siguiendo la lectura. Okay? Easy going. An easy going person is someone who doesn't worry much nor get angry easily. Okay. Now, um, a volunteer to read it. An easygoing person is someone who doesn't worry much, not get angry easily. Okay, thank you. Now, egotistical. An egotistical person is someone who has a very high opinion of him or herself, okay? Eh, esto de opinión, eh, mi, mi, mi computadora me da serios problemas. Tiene un gran complejo de smartphone. Entonces yo voy escribiendo y ella me pone lo que a ella le da la gana, porque ella cree que debe de ser con tildes, y en inglés no hay tildes, pero ella no entiende eso, ¿ok? <risa> Tiene We complejo understand. de smartphone, la pobrecita. Now, Pamela Carolina, could you read egotistical, please? No? Someone, raise your hand. Rebecca Estefanía. Yes, teacher. Okay. And after that, Cesar Adonai, okay? An egotistical person? An egotistic, egotistical person is someone who has a very high opinion of him, him or herself. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Cesar, inflexible. An inflexible person is someone who doesn't change easily and is stubborn. Aquí es N, ¿ok? Puse N, pero es N. O sea, okay. Is. ¿Ok? Ok, inflexible. An inflexible person is someone who doesn't change easily and is stubborn. 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 Do you know what, what, what do you mean with stubborn? What does it mean? Testarudo, por eso le dice aquí. Test. Testarudo. Ok. Thanks. Ah, Pamela no puede usar su micrófono. Ahí me recuerdan hoy cuando le llame yo a ella de que ella no puede usar su micrófono. Thank you. Now, let's see. Modest. A modest person is someone who doesn't brag about his or her accomplishments. Okay, accomplishments. Now, um, who wants to read it? A modest person is someone who doesn't brag about his or her accomplishment. Okay, thank you very much. Now, sociable. A sociable person is someone who enjoys being with other people. Okay. Uh, 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 or who wants to read it? Me Go ahead. Okay. Sociable, a sociable person is someone who enjoys being with other people. Excellent. Thank you. 
Now, teacher, uh, yeah? I'm sorry, what's the meaning of brag? Perdón? Uh, what's the meaning of brag in the... Um, no, in the other, yeah, who doesn't brag. O sea, que no se echa encima todos sus, sus, o sea, que hay gente que le, le dice cosas bonitas, pero ella no se tira encima todo eso, o sea, no se la cree, pues, o sea, es modesta, no, no, no anda como con ínfula, ¿sí? Ah, sí, gracias. Ok, o sea, que como que no agarra llave, ¿verdad? <risa> con los accomplishments, ¿ok? No le dan gancho fácilmente. Exacto. <risa> no, es stingy. 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 A stingy person is someone who doesn't like sharing. Ok, stingy. Stingy. Okay. stingy. Somebody to read it, please. A stingy person is someone who doesn't like sharing. Okay, thank you very much. Now, okay. supportive. A supportive person is someone who is helpful and encouraging. A supportive person is someone who is helpful and encouraging. Who wants to read it? Me, supportive. A supportive person is someone who is helpful and mm -hmm. I read it because it's the the great friend. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, I I I'm going to read it again. A supportive person is someone who is helpful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and encouraging. Encouraging. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks to you. Temperamental. A temperamental person is someone who has unpredictable or irregular moods. Aquí esto me cambió todo. Ya lo tengo que arreglar. Moods. O sea, es M-O-O. M-O-O. Permítanme. Yes. Mood. De este. M-O-O-D. Mood. Y aquí también es or, no es for, no es here. Or is mood. Ah, a propósito, este, cuando, cuando a algún vocabulario no lo entiendan, eh, me preguntan, ¿ok? Y a mí se me olvida preguntar si necesitan algo sobre vocabulario. A ver. Ahora sí, irregular moods. Now, who wants to read temperamental? Les estoy okay. mostrando la diapositiva, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, José Antonio. Temperamental. A temperamental person is someone who has unpredictable or irregular moods. Ok, thank you very much. Now, Unreliable. An unreliable person is someone who doesn't do what he or she promised. Okay. Someone to read it? Yes. Unreal, yes. Uh, unreal, unreal. An unreliable person is someone who doesn't do what he or she promised. Okay. Most politicians do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What are they like? Okay. Which statement best describes Andrea? Andrea is someone who is egotistical and stingy. Andrea is someone who is sociable and easygoing. Andrea is someone who is temperamental and unreliable. Which statement best describes James? James is someone who is egotistical and stingy. James is someone who is sociable and easygoing. James is someone who is temperamental and unreliable. Si se fijan, todos dicen lo mismo. Pero están describiendo a tres personas diferentes. Entonces, 
como son tres personas diferentes y son tres descripciones diferentes, a cada uno le corresponde uno, pero ustedes tienen que decidir quién es quién, ¿ok? Which statement best describes Mr. Johnson? Y bien, esto le va a quedar para, nos va a quedar para mañana, ¿verdad? Este, ¿lo pueden ver en la plataforma o lo pueden ver aquí en el PPT que se lo voy a mandar tan pronto terminemos la clase? Any doubts or comments? ¿Alguna duda? We need to know the people, how they are. How... Sí, 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 es que aquí está. Uh... Ya, aquí, aquí, se lo voy a poner. Okay. Listen. Uh... Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn adjectives that describe personal characteristics. And you'll listen to an audio program in which you'll identify the adjectives that best describe each individual. So let's get started by learning the adjectives that you see before you. I'll be making this document available so you can have it for reference. And is stubborn. Mental person is doing this audio program is we're going to listen to a description of Andrea, James, and Mr. Johnson. And then what I would like for you to do is to choose the best statement that describes each individual. So let's listen to that audio program at this time. So, have you seen Andrea lately? Yeah, I see her once in a while. How's she doing? I've been meaning to call her. Well, to be honest, she's kind of been getting on my nerves lately. What do you mean? She's changed a lot since we've started college. She talks about herself all the time, and she always manages to mention how good she is at everything she does. Really? That would be annoying. It is. You know, she asked me to be roommates with her next semester, but I don't think I want to live with her. She used to be really generous, but now she's just the opposite. And it's not just with money, but her time as well. Well, college can be stressful. You two are good friends. Maybe you need to talk more. Are you going to James's party on Saturday? Of course. James always gives the best. What do you think it, it, they are describing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Best Andrea, parties. Uh, and there are always lots. Andrea, uh, which of the first, which of the um, characteristic is describing Andrea? She's always talking how good she is. And she used to be generous, but now she is the opposite. Which of these characteristics is for Andrea? Do you remember? Well, we will discuss this tomorrow, okay? You, uh, I will send you this. You will read the characteristics and then you will decide if Andrea is the first one or the second one or the third one, okay? Now, see you tomorrow, guys and girls. Okay, see you. Good night. Hey, good care. Good night. Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you. Tomorrow. Have a nice night. Thank you. Huh? Thank you for coming. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> bye bye. Bye.